15 minutes. Go. Okay, so when you're downloading and you're looking at cars, right? I have a few cars that I, I liked. Um, you know, and the reason why I, I make a lot of people build BMWs is because that car is very challenging in a sense of where the surface is constantly moving. It's turning. It's real soft. It's real hard. There's lines that go soft into absolutely hard lines. That is the challenge. Right? It is not what you think. It's constructing what you see. Okay? Now, uh, anybody have a car in mind? Off the top of their head? What is it? Lotus. A Lotus? Okay. Lotus. Uh, let's see here. Blueprint. There we go. And wow, that's awesome. So there's, ton, there's quite a bit of it, which is good, right? I even like these F1 cars, woo. Okay, uh, now once you find what you're looking for, now you can always type in Lotus Blueprints or you can do BMW cars or whatever you want, BMW Blueprints, and they just spit them all out for you, okay? And here they are. Every single series you can imagine, they'll have it. But don't, don't set your sights on, on a sense of like, I must build a 6 Series, and damn it, they don't have the blueprints, so I'm going to spend the next 16 hours tonight looking for those blueprints, okay? Trust me, that is going to eat into your time quicker than you could imagine, okay? Now, the class is not about that. It's not about can you build that 6 Series because you're trying to prove something to me, okay? That is not the task at hand. You are going to construct something that you have reference material of and enough insight to what the, the goal is at the end of the day and at the end of the month so that we can all look back and look at something that you constructed and say, wow, that was awesome. Okay, it's about technique. Now, after this month, you can go build another car on your own, at your own leisure, and then focus on that and making that the best. Okay, but while you're with me, you're going to have to understand how to construct and move very quickly. Okay, it is not about trying to impress me about the car that you want to build because we're both going to tackle that car. Okay, so if it doesn't exist, don't spend hours on end trying to make it exist. Okay, because that's what's going to be is hours of time on the internet. Okay, now this is one component of it. Okay, so I'm just going to go back and focus on the Lotus. Okay, so just to let you know, whatever you want, pick the car, be specific, more specific, the better, right? You can say uh, GTR, right? Uh, the new one, the Nissan GTR, right? And it starts to spit, spit it out. And it has the old skyline. So the more specific that you could be, obviously, the better, okay? So try to be more specific, okay? Otherwise, you're just going to spend time looking for stuff on the Internet. And that is, again, not the point, okay? Okay, so I'm going to go back because I want to focus on the Lotus. Now, we have a bunch of imagery of stuff that we could use, but it's probably not really high res in certain spots. And if it's not, like say for instance, this one's really good, and it's not bad in quality, okay, um, in a sense of uh, the resolution over here, okay. It looks like a little bit of hand drawn, and a little looks it looks a little bit like a toy almost. Um, but a lot of the ideas are here. I think it's a little too soft, too toy-like. Okay, it doesn't look like a blueprint diagram. Okay. So maybe we just find a Lotus, uh, and more specific, in a sense of the car, and what type of car it is, in a sense of the Lotus, and then download that. Okay, because not only do I have to have the diagrams, which, here we go, okay, but I also need to have the, the photos of the, of the images so that I can support what I'm constructing. And if you don't see it in the images, pick a car that you can get out there and I'll lend you the camera, which I have two 7D cameras, which no one likes to lend them out, but they're $7,000 cameras that shoots 24 megapixels, okay? So if you can find the car that you want to construct and you know it exists around your neighborhood, well, damn it, get in the car and grab that camera and go take 100 photographs of it. Okay, so that way 
you can have all the right reference and resources to construct what you need. Okay? I'd rather have that than not have any images or have two because we're not going to get there with two. Okay? And he wants to build a Lotus and a lot of this stuff, Lotus, uh, this stuff exists. So maybe if I just type in that name in particular, Evora. I could probably get very specific with it. And not only can I get very specific, once I actually find the car that I want, I want to then change it again because I want the highest resolution. Okay, so I'm going to come over here on Google and then select this thing and increase my search uh, resolution to like at least, you know, 1K. Okay. Cranked it up to 1K. And the, the limits of like the results are less for sure, right? But in a sense of what I could get, it's going to be better uh, for resolution. Okay? And if I don't find it here, I can always go back to something lower, but I can find images like that. Okay? But that's Ferrari California. It's a beautiful car. Uh, let's say, for instance, I go down one. Okay? So there's the uh, Lotus right there. And I have the, uh, I want to have all the, 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 some, the sides of it, like the top, side, front, back. I want all of it, okay, because I need all of it. If I don't have all of it, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be hard working. It's going to be slow dragging, because I'm not going to be able to see it, okay. So look for something, again, that exists. Okay, because I'd rather have, no matter what car you pick, it could be an old car like this, right? But if it's executed really well and very clean, that's the point, okay? Is that we don't want to show people, hey, look what I modeled. This is my 3D model, okay? I want people to look at our cars and say, wow, that is an amazing car, right? We build digital work not to tell people that, oh, that's a 3D model. That's stupid. We build, we reconstruct stuff to tell people, oh, that's a character, and you, you make the life back in their eyes, you make life into the sheen of the metal so that people don't know that it's a model, right? We are digital replicators, that's what we are. If people see it and say, oh, that's a cool model, you've not done your job, okay? Um, but these cars exist, you just have to look for them, okay? And that's the only reason why I say pick a BMW because I know throughout the course uh, they exist. They're in most of your guys' neighborhood at the BMW local dealerships around town. If you needed to go out and get a car, look at a car, you could easily just drive out there with the camera and take photographs of everything you needed to, right? People are usually very impressed when you do that. Um, they just will be more than happy to let you take as much photos as you want because they, once they see your 3D model, they're like, whoa, that's pretty cool stuff, right? Everyone and their mothers has built cars. You can see here, look at this stuff, right? And we're not doing anything any different than they are, right? But ours is just going to be better. That's where we're separating ourselves, okay? Okay. So look at the concept CS. Not a lot of back views, not a lot of stuff that exists, okay? I'm going to go ahead and, and just take this as a reference point, uh, but I'm going to build something different. I don't know one in particular. I'm torn between an Audi and a BMW. So I'm just going to work this out and figure it out tonight. Okay. I'm going to create a new folder called working on the desktop. Another folder called reference and concept CS. Okay. So I got the the front side and the back don't have a top view which is completely killing me okay concept cs if i just say concept cs and just search that
So we get all of that still. I don't think that's the top view to the CS, but here's the CS right here. I don't think they're going to give me a top view. And that's okay. But I got higher resolutions over here, so I can see the car. Okay. So this car doesn't really exist a lot. Let's replace it. Okay. So now if I take out the word blueprints, I can just get the images of the car. I can increase the value of those images so that I can really see it. But I probably want to try to break the bank on this one because the higher the resolution, the more clarity I'm going to get. And look at that. Okay. Uh, it's mixed in between this other one, so it's not going to give me a lot of results. So if I go back to like a 2K, let's see what I can get. Okay. So there's the car right there. So what I want to do is start a reference folder and start downloading the blueprints. Start downloading all the images. Look at that. Okay. Because this car is like a lot of cars you're going to build. Look at that line. It's a nice hard surface, just moving, moving, and it's gone. Right? This is considered on vehicles, cars. These lines are graphics, right? When they say, um, look, just put some graphics on the car, they're talking about this, these lines of movement, right? This is graphics. Okay? Look at that. Graphics moving from the back. Every car is now understanding that Honda, Hyundai, is killing their car with graphics, right? They got so many lines absolutely everywhere, and they're moving because it creates aerodynamic, it creates excitement when you look at cars, right? BMW is really known, and their whole point is to try to create an aggressive look. So when their cars are driving really fast behind you, it has that really aggressive look. Look at that line that they create. It looks like an eyelid on top. And they got these angel eyes that are rings. And it looks like just eyes are coming up behind you. And they got this crazy grill. Right? That is their design language. Right? But look at these graphics. Look at that. It comes, this line, it's hard. It comes to nothing at the end. And over here, it leads to nothing up in here. Right? What's the purpose? Nothing. It's graphics, right? But this is the stuff that you and I are going to have to learn to control, right? Look at this line right there. Wham, into nothing. It's just soft and nothing right here, right? When you look at the car models downstairs, what, what is it that makes and breaks it for you? Is it because the, the mirrors are so reflective that you don't get to see the interior? and then you're kind of not really bought off on the car, right? So they put the reflectors because not a lot of them will get to the interior because, I mean, it's really taxing and I get it, okay? Uh, okay, I'm gonna save this. Okay. But look at this car. See these lines? These are real metal. Not really. But this is a real surface. Those are real lights. Nowhere in here at one point are these lines just going to be wonky. If you and I are drawing, we would draw a line, and if we're a little wonky, wow, that's really going to make or break it, even in the drawing. So why should your models be wonky? They should not be. Okay. That's why the focus of surfacing and understanding movement, that is going to be a lot of the task at hand, right? Understanding what you are looking at. What is that shape? What is it? I don't know. But understanding it of what you're looking at and conveying what you're looking, translating back to the computer, that is another task at hand. Their cars are everywhere. So I recommend you have basically until lunch to come up with your first
car concept that you're about to tackle, okay, as a final, and then just pick three little raggedy cars to kind of go out for tonight. Oh, look, I hit the jackpot. Jesus Christ. All right, I'm going to be here for the rest of lunch. Downloading this car. I think uh, Joffrey's already built this car, so I yeah. probably would not want to build it because it already exists. But it doesn't have an interior, so I could kind of light a fire in a hit butt with the interior. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm thinking, that, oh, yeah, CV cards. No, we're not working out cards this time around. We're going to go in completely different this term with this month. We're going to go a little bit more free. Yeah, we're not going to do the curves. The curves are there to help you understand, but the curves are not there to be the all else. 